Hi friends, it's me, Rambling Strowls. Terrible. Um, so, hi, I am blogging today from um, Los Angeles. I am here going to the Oscars on Sunday, which is amazing and also totally surreal. Um, and it's made me kind of think about how, about manifesting and how you manifest things and how important it is to be specific. <laughs> um, I mean, God, it's ridiculous. This is eight hour cream, by the way, I like it about eight hour, uh, which I lost a tube of in an Uber the other day and it was gutted. Along, along with my AirPods, which my dad bought me, so I was really upset about that. When I was moving for the, oh, I don't know, hundredth time in New York. Anyway, back to the positive. I am here in LA, which I love. I'm meeting a gorgeous friend of mine, two of my gorgeous friends today, and we're gonna, and I'm, this is basically like a bit of a holiday for me. I'm coming because my friend is a writer for the Oscars and, he, we met at the Tony Awards and um, he basically has a plus one every year and um, is not with a significant other at the moment. So he said, come along. And I'm, you know, I'm really lucky because everything's paid for and I don't have to worry about anything like that. So that is, you know, a, a massive relief on me because I am so broke. Um, which brings me to uh, feeling very ashamed of that and very sort of, um, well, I, I, uh, that's what people think, I suppose, like that's what my initial conditioned self sh thinks is like, you know, oh, you've been a success and you should have loads of money and you should have been more careful and blah, blah, blah. And I definitely know that, you know, my, my, you know, people close to me feel that way, but it just didn't work out that way. And, um, you know, and I wouldn't be here now if that wasn't the case, um, because I wouldn't have done the Tonys and probably because I probably wouldn't have just said to Rob Ashford, who is the director who I know, who I was working with, can I do the Tonys, you know, like, so, and even, even, and then that brings me on to like, even the fact that I'm saying, oh, I didn't do the, to or, you know, I wouldn't have done the Tonys or I would, you know, and I wouldn't be coming to the Oscars. Like for some people, that's, you know, like it's a dream come true. And I get the guilt because I'm like, I don't, I, I don't even know how I feel about it. Like I, I'm, I'm so, I know that I should be really happy about it, but you know, I'm, I'm just happy that I'm having a break from New York and I'm happy that, and break from work and you know, tr that, that hustle. PS, watched Hustlers on the way on the flight. Um, and um, I had mixed feelings. I, I mean, I want to do that pole dance that JLo did because I think that I could, I would like to learn how to do that. Um, and she just, you know, obviously looks amazing and, and, and even though I hate the idea of fur, I'm like anti fur, the fur that she was wearing looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so if I could have like a synthetic version of that, then I would be very, very happy. So if anyone wants to send me a fur, I would be happy to sit in a sparkly negligee thong thing and that fur just saying hashtag just saying hashtag this is not vodka <laughs> it's water although i have been partial to a little vodka on the rocks recently uh oh. anyway so yeah so getting back to um you know like hello middle class white girl problems oh i'm going to the oscars oh i did the tonys like i do get very i get the guilt i get the white privilege guilt all the time and it makes me sad. <laughs> Quite.
crying again. Um, I have nothing to cry about. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, um, you know, feeling very lucky and, um, yeah, I've got a great dress that my sister lent me and I just had breakfast, which was lovely. And I'm going to go and put some, buy some shoes on my credit card. <laughs> and, um, and then I'm going to yoga later. Um, to help me with like this sort of mood and stuff, I, I do journal pretty much every day. Um, when I'm, when I take a lover, which has happened recently, um, I do fall behind on that. And I think that's okay. I mean, now that I'm have more time by myself again, it's I'm, I'm back to that. And I'm doing a Deepak Chopra meditation, um, which is a meditation challenge for 21 days that he sometimes does. And there's always those free experiences going around either on YouTube or on um, you know three different people so you can see those on their Instagrams and stuff and I, I feel like they really help me um, sort of come to ground um, but as far as this video is concerned I feel I am having a bit of a rest and a bit of a holiday which I think everybody needs sometimes just to remember that life isn't just about hustling and working and, you know, making something of yourself. Like sometimes you just have to allow what the universe is giving you um, and trust that it's right and right for you. And um, that's what's really hard to do. Um, but oh, see this is what happens it's overwhelm it gets overwhelming to even think about it although i did speak to my gorgeous friend stephen today and um we were laughing because i said i just want someone to take care of me for like two years and then i want to have a baby <laughs> And I was like, I want some sleep. And he was like, well, babes, you're not going to get sleep when you have a baby. I was like, no, I know. What I actually want is like, find someone to take care of me for a couple of years while I sleep, just for like two years, just sleep. Because that's what I feel I need. And then have a baby and then not sleep. That would be great. So that is what I am putting out there. Um, I'm also putting out now into the universe that the next time I come to the Oscars, I am going to be nominated for something. Um, I think nominated in an acting role. Just saying that now, I'd like that to happen. Um, and then I'd like to be nominated for a directing role. Um, again, just putting that out there um, so that, you know, but that might change. My idea of what I want, you know, might change tomorrow. It might just be like, I want to go because I don't even want to go. Like, I, you know, I want to be a yoga instructor. I don't know. Again, back to my original video. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know. You know, the only thing I do know is that as a woman, for me, not as a woman in general, but for me, having chosen this body, this physical, this physical boobs, vag um, body, in this life because I think I believe in that like I don't know but I believe that we have past lives and you come back to the life and you choose the life that you come to and I think I've been given this life as a woman cho choosing given that makes no sense but I mean like I've been sent back here to be a woman because I was because to learn the lesson of what it's like to be oppressed and to be sexually harassed and not respected for the fa for the sake for the fact that I have a, a because I have a vagina rather than a penis that is why I think I've been sent here so um, I personally my like the reason I, I would I am here is because I feel like I it's not the only reason before any any sort of fierce feminists have a go like I don't think it's the only reason I'm here but I think there is a reason that I came this soul not necessarily every woman's soul but this woman's soul came to have a baby 
Oh my god, it's like exhausting trying to like keep everyone happy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I do find that really tiring. I just don't want to say the wrong thing because I want everyone to like be loving and like love everyone and and sometimes I do say stupid stuff like I just find it really tiring. Oh, oh my life is so hard. It's really not. It's so it's it's really not. I mean it is hard sometimes. But it's also relative, isn't it? I don't know. That whole term thing of re being relative, like happiness being relative. I do believe it, but I don't and at the same time. I'm like, yeah, but there are people, you know, around the world just like starving and that's just crap. And I've just had a continental breakfast going to the Oscars. Oh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Anyway, this, um, this uh, video is basically saying that I feel a bit better today purely because how can I not? I was picked up from my house in a car. I, I went to the flipping business class, first class United lounge. I then, where I got, hashtag got picked up. Mama still got it. Um, I didn't get picked up, picked up. I got hit on, which was very nice, very nice man. Um, and it was funny. Um, he had a dog, it was cute, it was called Stanley, I loved him. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I got embarrassed, can you tell? Um, yeah, so yo, know, I went to um, the United thing, first class lounge, I went on a first class flight, I had a, a bed that went down and I watched movies and the flight went in like a second and like, and then I was picked up from the airport with a man with a card and he got my luggage and, and he brought me to this gorgeous hotel and I'm, you know, slept really well, you know, like, I'm like, oh my God, you're so, there are just like horrendous things happening in the world and this is amazing. So right now, I want to publicly say I feel very lucky that I'm in this position. However, what anxiety and depression do is that they look at the negatives, like, I wanna to come to the Oscars when I'm nominated. I wanna be able to pay for, for that flight that I've just pay, paid for. I want to be able to um, buy or, or be have a designer designing you know like all this like stuff that is just it's so ungrateful it's not ungrateful that I don't feel like ungrateful is the word but it's it's like never enough never enough I sang that at a gig recently it's really hard really high um, also on my Instagram, there's a brilliant, um, I just shared a, a story of um, someone, although you probably won't be able to see it now because it's a story, sorry, I won't even mention it. Um, but it's really cool, Catherine McPhee and her singing teacher. Um, I want to get my hair cut, I don't like my hair cut. Anyway, um, I'll stop rabbiting on. Streams of consciousness with Drows. Consciousness? Sure. Um, I hope you all have a lovely day and thank you for watching and apologies if this seems like a video full of self-pity and sad rubbish that is completely unfounded um, but uh, it's more you know I'll just let people know that it's okay for you to not feel okay even if you think you know if you've got everything that you feel you want or you've got everything that you thought you wanted and now it's not doesn't match up to it or whatever it is if you still don't feel happy, that's okay. And, you know, it, just keep going. <laughs> yeah, keep going. And I will too. Peace out. Mwah. Bye, 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 bye.